we started hi oh okay that is alice mm -hmm. yes okay alice all right take attendance hi. how are you doing okay alice quickly we just uh, everybody said something good that happened to them this week or something good that they did and that's chava chava frank yes uh I just went to a bakery and <laughs> got a good croissant. So I'm happy. There. Oh, okay. <laughs> Food is always good. Yeah. Yes. We like that. Too bad I can't give it to you from the screen. Okay. Does anybody know Marilyn Klein, Phyllis Cole? And that's it. That would be the rest of the stuff. Okay. So uh, last week, two weeks ago, we went over um, four Hebrew letters. Now there are 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet, but that's a little fuller because letters like chaf have chaf, final chaf, and kaf. So you get three for the price of one. And when you have a mem, we'll see today we have a final mem. So I went and I looked at the alphabet again and I, I counted the letters today and I said, so there's 22 official letters and we can say 22 unique letters, but since we have beginning ones and we have final letters, it's really more. Um, also, when you have a letter like a bet, and when it has a dot in it, bet, if it doesn't have a dot, it's a vet. You have a b and a v, but it's the same shape and it's counted as one letter. So that's oh. cheap. <laughs> it's counted as one yeah. letter. It really is. So there are more physical letters than 22. Okay, so now you know the real truth. All right, so two weeks ago, we went over the letter mem. Can you all tell me what's the sound of the letter mem? Mm. 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 Okay, mm. mem sounds like mm. mm. We saw the letter lamid has a sound of mm. uh. Uh. And the word we use all the time, Baruch, ends with a final chaf, and that's the gargle letter, chaf, and chaf. I'll tell you the funny thing from teaching Hebrew school for 22 years. So the chaf is longer, the final chaf is longer than the regular chaf. So there's a word that means final. It's called chaf sofit. And I, and I would say to the kids, you know, what kind of a hop is it? And they, I just said, look, remember, so is your own feet. feet. It's longer. So we had a hop so feet, which is a ch. And then we had a hop, regular hop. So where must a final letter always go? At the end. Yes. At the end. Yes. Can it be the first letter? No. no. Can it be in the middle? No, no. It's a final. no, it can only be at the end. So final chaf, chaf so feet. We saw three vowels. These vowels go under the letters. We had one dot and it's E. e. We have two dots side by side and that's A. 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 And then we had three dots a. and that's a. 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 Had E, one dot, and we had two, a. that's A. And then we had three, and that's eh, eh. Okay, so looking forward to today, I hope to be able to get up to page 11. And the good thing about this book is that it keeps reviewing as you go. So we don't have to start from page one, but we actually are. This is what I'd like. If you have page one, I'm gonna do like a little game with you. Page one has the song. So if you could get to that, in your books or your phones or your whatever. That has Shalom Aleichem. We're not gonna sing it again, but we're gonna do a little game. There are eight lines. This is mine. Shalom Aleichem. My, my only complaint about the book, I'm sorry to interrupt, is yes. it doesn't have the names of the letters. It doesn't say what they are. All right, I am going to send you, glad you said that, I mean, I have a, I have something out of a book with a cheat sheet of everything, but that, yeah, that I'm, was not complain about. I'm going to send everybody. Um, I have a book, and the first page of the book has all the letters, the way it's written in script, and the name of the letters. I'm going to email that to you. And if anybody is interested, is a book that I have. It's a beginner's book, beginner, beginner. 
And if you want to learn how to write the letters, it has some practice lines yeah. mm -hmm. on how to write them. But we won't be doing that uh, here. We'll be learning. With, we'll try to get through the alphabet and all the vowels. That's going to be a stretch to do. But I will send those pages out to you, some practice pages and that alphabet. Okay? I'm just I'll surprised send that, that it doesn't have it. It just shows a mem, but it doesn't say mem. It doesn't say the it doesn't name. doesn't have the name. Yeah. But we, we know that the... Um, Names of the letters give you the sound like Samach and a S mm -hmm. and a Shin as in Shalom has a sh sound and a Mem is a M and a Lamed is a L. So that's the that's the sounds of uh, Hebrew from the names of the letters. Anyway, if you could get this, there are eight lines in Shalom Aleichem. That was your page one in your text. Underneath is the music. Okay, what I'm going to do. I'm going to say a word and then you could just raise your hand and I want you to tell me I used to play this game in Hebrew school what line what number word so if it was the first word in line one you would say line one word one mm -hmm. if it was the third word in line one say line one word three and so all I want to do now is practice a little bit of sight reading on some of the words that we've had so we had the words Melech, Mi Melech, and Malche. We had those three words Melech, Mi Melech, and Malche. Those were the only real words that were presented in the first five pages. Okay. So, um, all right. Let's see. Where do you see the word Mi Melech? I'm going to raise your hand. Okay, Alice? Line two, first word. Okay, does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. me, and everybody say, me melech. Me melech. Me melech. Okay, me so you have two different vowels. The first one is a mem and an e vowel, e, me. Mm -hmm. And then you have the e, me, me lech, me melech. Me melech. What are the two dots on the final Lama, don't worry about that. It just okay. shows the end of the word. There's no oh, sound. It's like don't a period. Worry about it. It's like a period. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's, don't worry about that. Yeah, it's sort of. Okay. Does does anyone see the word me melech on any other line? Um, four. Ella. Ella. Uh, line four, first word. Okay. Anybody else see that anywhere else? Okay, okay. Carol. Carol? Um, line six, the first word. Right. And where else? Anybody else? Susan? Line eight. Line. Okay. So when you sing the song, you know, it, it keeps repeating. So that is the refrain. Okay, let's find another word. Uh, where do you see the word malche? Malche. Okay. Line two, the second word. Okay. Anybody else? Another spot? Line four. Okay. The second second four. word. Seven. Line four, we see that. Malche. Mm -hmm. Any any other place? Charlene. Um, line six, the second word. Perfect. Any other place? Malche. Susan. Eight. Line eight, second word. Okay, so we see that there's a pattern here in the refrain. Can anyone read for me on line two the first two words? Who can mm -hmm. read? Okay, Faye. Mimelech Malafe. Perfect. Okay. And can anybody read the first two words? Someone else on line four. Mimelech. Ella? Mimelech Malche. Perfect. And anybody, someone else? Line six, can you read the first two words? Somebody? Me, me, me malche. Okay, and somebody read the first two words on line eight. Um, me melech malche. So you can see that there's a lot of repetition and the book is going to take you through the uh, letters and the vowels needed to sing Shalom Aleichem. That's the first goal. And we're going to be working on that. You're going to see how they it progresses. Okay. Now, below that, we have the phonetic 
transcription. So let's try to sing that again, whether you know it from heart, by heart, or you want to uh, just look at it the way it's written in English. And we'll do it slowly. Let's try it again. Let's get the feeling that they, that they call this the Gestalt. That in German, it means like the whole thing, the complete feeling. So if your ear is going to hear these words and sounds, that's going to be very good. So we do it very slowly. You're going to very slowly. <laughs> Put you on the wrong speed. Okay, let's. All right, everybody know the melody. Mm -hmm. Nine. Okay, here we go. Achat, shtayim, shalosh. That means one, two, three. Shalom aleichem, alachei ashar meit, malachei elyon. Mine too. Me, 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 Okay, that's all I want to do because I wanted you to see that whole second line, which just keeps repeating. Okay. Okay. Um, let's get our books now and. Um, so you did a lot of review right there in what you just did. We finished with page five last time. Let's start with page six. Okay, everybody have page six on the book or on your computer or on your phone. Now, page six is going to give us another vowel combination. So we already learned that the two dots side by side have the sound of A. Now, it happens that when you put this little guy next to it, that's the letter good, the sound is the same. It doesn't change because the yud has the sound of y. So you have a and the vowel sound a. If I put a yud, it doesn't change. It will affect the spelling and meaning of words when you put a yud in. But the sound, we're looking phonetically, straight phonetically, there's no change. A equals A. You can see that top of the page. Two dots or two dots with the letter Yud. The baby, I called the baby Yud. Back to same sound. Okay? So don't let it throw you for anything. So I'm going to say the first line and I want you to repeat it after me. Okay. A. 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 Have that good gargle. A. 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 Okay. Now, if you went to Israel, an Israeli right away is going to pick up if you can't pronounce the letter pet. Okay, it's not hey, which is an aspirate. Hey, this is gargling. Hey, hey, Okay. Okay, let's take a look at line two. Repeat after me. Hey. Okay, so that letter, that curvy letter, let's see if I can do it. That is a chaf, chaf, the letter chaf, chaf, okay. Okay, so we are combining now, we're reviewing the letter chaf and the letter lamed, nothing new here. Still from last week. Okay, line three. Can anybody do line three? Have a volunteer. Alice. Lachay. 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 La. Perfect. Okay. Anyone want to try line four? Any? All right, Carol. Um, okay. okay. Mi melech, lache, lache, melech. Okay, so we know in the brachot, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu, melech, here's that word, mm -hmm. melech ha'olam. Does anyone know what melech means? Melech king. means king. king. King of the olam is world. King of the universe. 
Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, Melech Ha'olam. And that's a formula in all the blessings. King of the universe. Okay. So look at five. Now, some um, Jody, you were not here last week, right? No. Okay. So this is new for you. Did you get a chance to look at the video? Listen to no. us? No. Okay. I did not get that. Okay, we'll make sure that, that everybody gets it. So, um, can you recognize that that letter chaf, that one, that rounded one? That's ch. Yes. The two dots? Yes. A, ch. Okay, well, we blend it just like we would in English. Okay, so now look in line four was mi melech, l'chei, l'chei, and melech. Okay, that uh, middle letter is called a lamid. And that's a l sound. And that final chaf is at the end, melech. That would be a sight word probably that you would recognize in any sidur, melech. Okay. Carol, can I uh, um, ask you a question? I'm not trying to um, get ahead of uh, ourselves, but Go ahead. Um, the, um, this yud, is that only going to be seen after the, um, the dot dot? Um, no. The vowel? No. Okay, it's going to be a Y sound, but it could be. A, but Look, it's it, in the it's in the word Elohim. It's after the letter Hey, Elohim for God, Elohim. It's not always going to be. Sometimes okay. you're just going to see the two dots. Sometimes the two dots with a uh, yud. But the yud will not follow anything other than uh, two dots, or it will follow. It could follow something else besides two dots. Yeah, it's going to yeah. follow the okay. the the one dot. E. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a great question. Okay. Look at line five. So we have like two syllables here. Me. Mil che. Everybody say mil che. Line five. Mil che. Again. Mil che. Mil che. Mil che. Mil che. Okay. Now these are just. Not kind of like nonsense syllables. They don't mean anything. We only had like two words. Okay, but we're getting closer to some words. All right, now the two dots is A, remember. So that first one is Mel 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 now, there's a slight change in line seven. Take a look at it. This line six says male ge. Anyone tell me what, Helene, what male. would be, it's what's the first word in line seven, Helene? Line seven is male ge. Right. Dots, Remember, so the male. two dots is A, a. male ge, and this a. is A, like in Melech, male ge, male ge, like in Melvin, male ge. And by the way, if you have this as a book and you printed it out, you can make notes here. Okay. You oh, yeah. as the phonetics, the way the way it sounds. Okay. Okay, so that is straight all the way across. So let's just try it. Now let's say the first word on line seven. Helene, the second one. Second word, Mel Hay. Jackie. Mel Hay. Good. Jody. Mel Hay. Perfect. Charlene. Mel Hay. Absolutely okay. good. Oh, by the way, I wanted to say something about the timing. Now it's already 1.30, but we are scheduled from 1 to 2. However, if there's anybody who feels a little shaky on something or was absent and wants to stay on, uh, will officially be over at two. I would be glad to work with anybody if you have any questions or want to go over any previous work or anything we're doing you didn't understand, you need a little, you know, bolstering up. Okay, so we had now eight is again that same word, melche. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, let's read now. Not every word is the same on late, line eight, so let's try it together. Here we go. Mel A, Mel A, Mel A, Mel A, Mel A, 
Okay, now look at line um, nine. On line nine, we had before Melche, but there's one word that's different. Me Melech. Okay. Let's say it together. Line nine. Melche. Me Melech. Sorry, line nine, second one was me Melech. The third word, me Melech, Melech. They had two different words and they were alternating. Now, line 10 is just some of the letters. So for line 10, for the mem, you would just say m. Let's try it. M, l, h, m. Now, make sure you know what that mem looks like because we're going to see a final mem. So this mem that you see on line 10 can only be in the beginning or middle of a word. So we have the word shalom. Would you see this letter at the end of the word shalom? No. Because it's not a final mem. Okay, you'd have to use a final mem. Okay, the bottom of the page, they wanted to teach you the two dots with the yud is a. A is a is a, and that's it. And they have mal che. Okay, let's go on to our uh, line, uh, page seven. All right, now you've heard of Ashkenazic pronunciation and Sephardic. Mm -hmm. So when you come into shul, some people will say to you, good Shabbos. And some people will say, Shabbat Shalom. And some people who come from Eastern European backgrounds will say, Shabbos. They won't say Shabbat. Mm -hmm. So when you hear Shabbat, that is Sephardic. That's what they speak in Israel. And if someone says, good Shabbos, that's Yiddish. That's not Hebrew. That's Yiddish. I'm sorry. And... Um, the reason is we have these two vowels in Sephardic Hebrew, the Hebrew that we teach our children in Hebrew school, the Hebrew that you hear in Israel, is these two vowels are going to be pronounced ah. ah. So ah. is there any question you want to ask me about that? You see the line straight across and the one that looks like a little T. You both have the sound of ah. I have a quick question. This is, is just in general. Uh -huh. Do you have in Hebrew um, vowel accent, uh, not vowel, but just accents on syllables? Like, how do you show that? Like, hey, mal well, in modern malhe or malhe. How do you know what the difference is? No, um, no, not really. But when you're dealing with verbs, like the verb. Um, Kotev means right. Any kotev, a man would say that's masculine. Usually the rule is the um, accent is on the second, second syllable. Okay. Second There's syllable. No rules. You just not kotev, it's kotev, second syllable. Okay. Yeah, but it's not really, you know, accented. All right, so is there a question though we have? Why are there two vowels and they both have the same sound? To confuse us. Yeah. <laughs> So I just told you that when I was teaching Hebrew school, I said to the kids, these two symbols are pronounced exactly the same. Are they interchangeable? Or does it change the meaning of a word? Spelling, like when you're doing the past tense, let's say, for example, in Hebrew, he ran, I know that that would be a uh, man, but hatav, yes, the, uh, that does indicate a grammar, something in grammar, the spelling, which I'm not very good at. And that Ashkenazi, when they say Shabbos, Shabbos, or they used to pronounce the one that looks like a T as O. Oh. But we don't. In modern Hebrew, it's A. Ah. Okay? So if you look at the bottom, it says Shabbat. Ah. They were ah. not going to say Shabbos, Shabbos. It's Shabbat. We're teaching you modern Hebrew, Sephardic Hebrew. If you ever went to Israel, you'll hear them speaking like that. 
Hope okay. you have an Israeli Machatanus to she'll correct you every time. By the <laughs> right. Sabra. Sabra. Okay. Yeah, a Sabra. My dog's name is Sabra. Two generations Sabra. So Okay. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Now let's take a look at line, let's have page seven. Let's look at uh, line one. So all of those are going to sound exactly the same. The vowel is ah. 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 Here we go. Line one. Let's do speed reading here. Ma. 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 Okay. I need a genius for line two. I have a genius for line two. Come on, Faye. Oh. I thought you okay. no scratching of noses or anything. You get <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, do line two, babe. Okay. Mala, mala, lama, good. Mama, 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 mama. mama. <laughs> okay, nice job. Anybody want to do three? I saw. Jody, did you have your hand up before? Come on, Jody. Okay, let's go. Ma, 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 ma. Great. Line four. Uh, I saw another hand. Alice. Ma, 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 ma. Okay. Line five. Volunteers. Carol. Ma, 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 ma. Che, che, che. Okay. Now you see, you have the two dots and the yud, and it's a, ch, a, ch, correct. Anybody for line five? All right, Alice. Oh. Line five, I thought we did line I'm five. sorry, oh, six. Five. Yeah, Copa, line six. Ma, ma, le, he, ma, he, ma, he. Okay, so the word ma, he, is in Shalom Aleichem. That's why they have the exclamation point because they want you to note that that word is, is one of our target Malchei. Malchei. Okay. So now line seven is all the same. Uh, Jackie, can you tell me how that first word sounds? Malachi. That's it, all the way through. Okay, Malachi. let's go together, everybody together with me on line eight. Here we go. Line eight? Eight. All right. Now, on line eight, can you tell me is the word that's different? Which of these words does just doesn't belong? A little Sesame Street. On line nine? Yeah. yeah. Which word is different? Four. Melech. 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 Melech means king. 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 Melech. That's right. the one that's different. Okay, so now on line 10, we're alternating with the two words. Uh, Helene, can you do line 10 for us? <clears throat> Mali, Malhe, Melech, Malhe, Melech. Malchay. Perfect. Got the I have a question. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I have a question on it's it's mel. It's I like it would be one syllable. That's it's not melche. It's melche, or is it malche? It would be malche, right? Malche. But there's no extra syllable in between. Not the, yet. The not yet. There the is a way. There is a way in Hebrew with the shva to put an end to the syllable, yeah. and that would be malche, which we we'll get to very soon. Yeah, okay. You're, you're anticipating and you're right, you're right there with me. Okay, line 11. Who hasn't had a chance? Uh, Susan, do you want to try line 11? Uh, yeah, um, me, me, uh, left, um, me, mel me, 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 um, left, good. Okay, and let's see. Okay, so line 12 again is Malche and Mimela. Okay, I think we got that down. Let's go to the next page, page eight. Okay, so now, just the way we had 
the two dots with the yud is the same as the two dots. Remember, A equals A. The same thing happens lots of times with the vowel E. The dot is E. And the dot with the yud is still E because the yud has a sound of y, E, y, E. Doesn't change the sound. It will be used. Now, I made a list of some words I just wanted to. So now that we're, uh, you were asking a little about grammar, um, I have two dogs. The word for dog in Hebrew is kelev. And if I was telling somebody in um, Hebrew, yeshli shnei kelevim, when you hear im ending, it means plural. Like if I would say to you, and you are a uh, student, Almidim, and I'm coming into the class, I would say shalom Talmidim. And you have shalom chaverim. Chaver is a friend. But when you hear im on the end, it's plural. Chaver is friend. Chaverim. Shalom chaverim. Shalom chaverim. All right. Shalom. Shalom. So that is, so you ask me about grammar. So that's when you have that, that yud and a mem. You have the dot and the yud and then a mem. And that shows plural. So you asked me about grammar. Is it always? It's not always, but here's a yud and a dot and it's e. If I put a final mem, it's im, and that's a plural ending. All right, let's see how this sounds. So page eight, line one. So we have a m and an e is me. Mm -hmm. And then we have a m and a e and a yud. It's exactly the same, me. Mm -hmm. It will affect spelling of words, but right now the sound is exactly the same. So let's try line one together. All right, we ready? Me, 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 me. me. Now new, new letter, Lee, me, me. Now we have that hop, the ch sound on line two. So let's do that with the vowel, with the, it's the dot, with the yud, it's called the chirik. Okay, that's east vowel, line two. Okay, now on line three, somebody want to try line three? So remember again, the dot with the yud, okay, Alice, is E. That's the way it sounds, I'm not going to change. Perfect. Somebody want to try line four? You're cruising here. <laughs> Takers. All right, Jody, go for it. He, 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 Good. Ella, you want to try line five? All right. Um, la, la, ma, la, 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 la. Excellent. Mitsuyan, anybody want to try six? Charlene, do you want to try it? Okay. I'll try it. Um, he, la, he, good. La, he, la, he. Very good. Mala. No, right. Mala. Right. Mala. Mel. Malachi. 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 No vowel under the mem, so we can't put one in. It's just Malachi. Malachi. Okay. Volunteer for line seven. Volunteer. Alice. He. He. Okay, now they're warming us up for a word. Did anyone, can anyone figure out what's the word? It's the plural of melech. Melech means king. And they're warming us up because there's that word that they're getting ready to teach us in Shalom Aleichem. Melechim? Yeah. 
Malachi. Plural. Im. Yeah. And im ending, that's plural, kings. So Melech is king. Malachim, when you hear im on a noun, it's plural, kings. Okay. So line eight. Faye, you want to try it? Uh, yeah. He, uh, Malachi, he, Malachi, he. Great. Now let's see. On line nine. What are the two words? Can someone tell me there's really only two words? What are the two words? Susan, can you do that? Just there's two different words on line nine. In line nine. Yep, there's only two two words that are different. Oh, the melek and, the, and mal. He, okay. he, or okay. hey. So is yeah. melek? Oh, there's a third one. There's a third one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. what's the third one? Malachi. 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 So we have melech is one word. Malche and malachi. And malachi. Right. And we, we're not really supposed to put the ma under the, it's malachi at this point. They didn't give us a vowel. Okay. All right. Uh, line 10 together. Let's do it. Speedy, I want you to be recognizing these sounds together, all together. One, two, three. Me, 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 And again, they show you on the bottom, the point they want to make is that dot, that E vowel with the Yud is the same as E, the dot without the Yud. Okay, page nine, very good. All right, now this is a new letter. So finally, you've come to the final mem, as in shalom. I have, a, I'm looking now, I have a big sign. It's about foot and a half by maybe eight inches, big sign, as you walk into my house. Mm -hmm. And guess what it says? Shalom. 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 It was given to me many years ago as a housewarming, but the friend made it, is shalom. Now, um, I want you to really look at the visual differences between the final mem, which is a new letter, and the mem we thought that's in the beginning or the middle. Can anyone like, describe it? What's the difference? What does that final mem look like? Helene? The way I distinguish them is, is a final mem is a, a, a closed mouth, okay? Because it's completely closed. And the other, uh, other mem has a little opening. So your mouth is open just a little bit for it. So that's the way in my head, that's how I look at the two <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's right. Okay, anything else? Any other way that we can distinguish? Because it's now important that you recognize what they look like. Okay. One is square and the other one's rounded. I don't yeah, know. right. The, the final mem is like a square, it's like a box. The stop sign, well. All right. So now we don't want to get fooled by it. So we really, this is something visually you have to really start training yourself to recognize. Okay, so we have line one. Is there any difference in the way you say these letters? No. If it's a final mem or uh, initial mem, they, they sound m. Shalom. That's a final mem at the end, shalom. It's just mm -hmm. mems. Okay, so now let's take a look at how they uh, sound how they look and how they sound. So line two, that first word is mim, mm -hmm. right? Because you have a mm -hmm. m in the beginning, mm -hmm. and is, the vowel is e, mim. Mm -hmm. Then you have mim, mm -hmm. and mim, mm -hmm. and lam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we the new thing here is a final mim. Now we really wanna start to recognize. Let's do together line three. Lamb, lame, long, 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 maim, Yeah, the line. Maim, anti maim, lame, him, him, Let's take a look at line five. They're all the same. And what's that word? Kim. Kim. 
Okay, now we're not going to say team. We're really going to... Team. Okay. 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 So now line, line six. We have a um, couple of different combinations. Let's do this together. La, La team. La, La team. Mila. 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 And there's an exclamation point because you just got a new Mila. word. What does Malachi mean? Yeah. Melech is king. Achim is a bunch of kings. A bunch of kings. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a pride of lions and a bunch yeah. of kings. <laughs> okay. How about a, a crown of kings? Okay. All right, and Jody, what is that word on line seven? Malahim. Jody, line seven, what's the word? Malahim. Malahim. Jody? Jody Jackman? Uh, okay. Malahim. <laughs> Malahim. It's just Malahim. Malahim. And it's all the way through. Okay, uh, eight. We have a couple of words we've learned. Uh, who's going to say them? Let's see. Uh, okay, Alice. Okay. Malche. Malachim. Mala. Who's doing this? Okay. So there's no vowel under that name. It's Malachim. Malachim. Okay. Next word. Okay. Melech. Malachim. Okay. Okay. Now we have three different words. They're getting ready for us in part of this song. So let's do this together. Look at it carefully. Line nine. Me. Melech. Malachim. Malachim means what? Many kings. Many kings. <laughs> okay. And line 10, uh, Helene? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'll take off my glasses. I, I don't know whether <laughs> in the back or the forward. Okay. Mimelech? Mimelech? I'm hearing somebody else. Good. Melachim. Melachim. There's a word. Okay. And it's like you slur the like you slur the first two letters together. Because what I was hearing in some cases would be mala. It's mala, right? It's like you slur the first two together, and there's no. There's no vowel. No, no vowel. So right now, they, they will, when it's a real word, they will give us a vowel. Right now, they're not right. assigning a vowel. It's just m mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. mem is used at the beginning or the middle of a word. It can be used anywhere in the beginning or any place except at the end. And there's our square. And it's used that final mem, mem sofit, only at the end. Let's go on to, okay, we can keep going. Ten. And. Oh, good. I want to get to this. Now, the letter He is different from the Chet or the Chaf or the final Chaf. So we have letter Chaf, final Chaf, and we have uh, we have a Chet. We have two different letters in Hebrew that have a sound. They really like that sound. But this is breathy. It's like you're an actress, like a, this is a Marilyn Monroe. Hey. <laughs> don't hear it. There's no, so it's a letter K, like we would say in English, the letter, hey, how are you? Hey. All right. So it's just like a regular H. This one sounds like an American H. Hey. And our keyword there is hamlachim. Now you can write this down if you want to. When you see hey in front of a noun, does anyone know what that means? The letter hey means, go ahead, say it, Ella. V. The, the. 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 Okay, if I want to say the teacher, ha mora. If I want to say I am the teacher, ani ha mora. Mm. It's attached. It's like 
I am the teacher. So when it's the word the, that hey, it's put, it's attached to the thing. The boy, Hayeled. The girl, Hayelda. All right? So now we have the letter hey with the vowels. So again, they're reviewing again, review, review, review. So that's why you're learning this. They line one together, be careful with the vowels. That's all. It says a huh, huh, and the vowel. Okay, here we go. E, 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 So it's very important in Hebrew to be able to pronounce those, to know the vowels correctly, okay? All right, now we have, again, just a hey sound. It's the zoe sound, it's a breathy. Now let's try it together. He, 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 Okay, now line three, even though you have the thing that looks like a T or the one straight across, they're both ah. Ah, ah, ah. So we have, let's do it fast. Ha, 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 Okay. All right, do we have volunteer for line four? Now we're going to have the ah vowel with some letters. With the Lamed and the Chav and the Mem. Okay, Carol. Okay. Hala, ha ha, ha ma, ha ma, oh, ha. Good, ha, there's a final Mem. Ha me, ha me. Very nice, very nice. Okay, a volunteer for five. Okay, Melis. Very good. Okay. All right. So what two words on line six are the same, Jody? What two words on line six are the same? Uh, Ham lahi and ham ham lahi. The last right. two. That's right. They're exactly the same. Okay. Um, what two words are different on line seven, Charlene? What two words are different on line seven? The middle two. Can you pronounce them? Um. Um, um, like he, he, and, and then the next one is um, like him, 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 okay, which will be the kings, okay. Um, so line eight is a, again a repetition of the same two words, and let's take uh, Susan, can you read line eight? Yeah. Um, uh, ma ma la right? Uh, wait. Um, um la him or no, that's ha him. The dot and the yod is e sound. Okay, ham la him and again ham la la him. Very nice. Okay. Um, Faye, can you do line nine? Mela, Malfe, Very good. Everybody, line ten. Mela, Malfe, Amlachim. Okay, and there's a note. Hey is always sounded at the beginning or the middle of a word, and this is important. Hey is usually silent at the end of the word. He is silent at the end of a word. So uh, they really didn't give us any words yet with a silent hey. Now, this is, so we finished um, one and um, this is very good review. 
And let's just do 11. Wow, I wanted to get up to um, 11 or 12 today. This is good. Okay. Now, um, so this is what we've learned so far. Okay, if you've missed anything, here we have. Here's the review. We have a, a mem. Mm -hmm. A mem. We have a final mem. Mm -hmm. have a we have a chaf. Mm -hmm. A mm -hmm. final chaf. Both have the same sound, ch. Mm -hmm. And we have the letter he. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Just a breathy sound. Mm -hmm. And look at all the vowels. Oh, goody. Look at this whole basket of vowels. Yum. Mm -hmm. We have an e sound, mm -hmm. e. The two dots are A, three dots, E. If we have a dot and a yod, it's E. Two dots and a yod, A. Straight line across, A. And a little T, A. Let's get all that. That's, that's really good. Okay, let's skip the first line because those are just uh, the letters. Uh, now, the second one, let's see if we can all do this together. We want to try to get through this page and then we'll end. If anyone wants to stay on for extra help or whatever, anything, any questions, I am available. Okay, so be careful now because we really want to master the vowels because the vowels are going to be with us forever. The only time the vowels are not with you, ladies, the is Torah. You read the Torah. Torah, <laughs> Torah, Torah. And when you have a Torah reading, you have to study it so that you know if it's malach or melech or mi melech. Okay, you have to study it. Study means you have to go over it until ad nauseum. You just have to keep saying it and saying it. Or you have to know the word. Okay, if you recognize the word, like if you know, he, oh, is that a dog? Cat, she, he won't shut up. That's why I had to put him in my lap. Oh, my cat <laughs> usually walks across the screen. I have a black cat. Yeah. <gasps> All right, let's see if we can finish up here and let's really stress those vowels. Okay, let's get the vowels down. Is she a special kind of cat? Uh, it's called a Maine Coon. Oh, a Maine Coon. They're big. Oh, they're big. Yeah. They're big, big cat. Big yeah. Beautiful, what's her name? It's a boy, his name is Ringo. Ringo. Oh, Ringo. <laughs> Ringo Ringo. He's a uh, ring tail. Oh, look at that beautiful tail. Almost, yeah, it almost looks like a raccoon. Okay. You can put him on a, on a hat like, uh, was it Davy Crockett? <laughs> Davy Crockett or Daniel Boone? <laughs> that kind of hat. Okay, let's look at line two. Ready? Here we go. Hot, Stein Shalot. Nee, Lee, E, Pa, Me, 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 Ma. Le, la, a, e, line three. Melahim, hamlahim, melah, malke, hamlahim. Good line four. Melah, malah. Me melon, me melon, mouse, I'm lost. Good. Five. Lee, lay, 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 Ma means what? You have heard this word in ma, nishtana, halai, laha. That means what? What's the difference in this night from all the other nights? Ma. When when one Israeli meets another. What was the one, two, three, the fifth word on line six? One, two, three, four, five. Lucha. 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 So the final Lama does have kind of a. It's a final Lucha. It sort of has a. Lucha. Okay. Yeah. Whether it's a regular um half or a final half, like in Baruch, it's always ch. The sound doesn't change. Because it sounded like you went Lucha, or is it Luch? No, 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 not loch. It's lucha. 
Lecha. 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 So, uh, as I said in line six, that word ma, it means what? So, um, anyone know what an Israeli would say to another one? What, how do you say, like, what's up? Say, manishma. As manishma. What's up? It's, it really means, like, what is heard? Like, what's the word? Okay. Manishma. Okay. Um, line seven. Here we go. Let's try to stay together on this, okay? With me, not after me. One, slowly, but with together. One, two, three. Heal, 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 meal. Now that's trying, they're trying to pick it up because it's milk. Milk. Like a milk. There's no, there's no vowels under those. It's milk. Milk. And Malel. Malel. It, it's not Malel, it's Milch. And Halel is Halel on the holidays, like on Sukkot. And on Shavuot, we, and on Pesach, we, we go to services and you read Halel. Da, 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 that didn't have vowels under the last two. The third word on line seven. The third word on line seven. Yeah. Um, okay. Halal. Um, oh, that's the hell. Okay. That's halal. Yeah. Wait, and, that's and, and if you looked it's in the C door, that's the way they spell. It's hell. I think the third word is hell. 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 Except hell. that the stories that you know are stories from hell. hell. This is Helm. Yeah. This is Helm. Yeah, right? Like the the ship's captain is at the Helm. Helm. Yeah. Helm. All right. All right. Line eight. Here we go. Together. Hilal. Hilal. Lehal. La Melam. Hilal. Me. Me. Lee. Lee. Nine. Remember, this is a ch. This is a ch. And it's at the beginning or middle of a word. Chem. 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 I think your husband wants to ask you something. Say. <laughs> We're good. Just two minutes. Not even. Let's finish. Line 10. Lay. 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 It's very important Lay. that you realize they are exactly the same sound. As in Shalom Aleichem. Lechem, lechem, lechem. Okay, because shalom alechem. We have just to get the a, and then we have the lechem. The last one, line twelve. Melech, malchei, amlachim. And that third word was amlachim. Malchei, melech, am. Okay. Next week, two weeks. You know, I had said that I really think that classes should be every week because two weeks you really, you know, forget. Um, and I'm a language teacher by trade, and and uh, the more frequently the class, uh, the easier it is to learn. Every two weeks, it's kind of hard. I know if I were learning Russian and I had it every two weeks, I'd go ah. But go <laughs> over whatever we learned. And if you want to um, test yourself, take a look again at Shalom Aleichem because they're driving towards these words and see how many of the words you can sight read. See how many of the words from the song you can pick out. Now, I think quite a few by now. You don't have um, the Aleph yet um, and you don't have the O vowel, but you've got a lot of stuff here that you can... You can um, figure out you might want to go through it and like just make a little check mark of all the ones you actually can read and you'll see you can read the majority of these words now so you're actually reading hebrew and 
Hebrew is easy because it's all phonetic. So I am going to send you the alphabet. I will have Julia send everybody the, um, the lessons. Um, I will send you a couple of pages of practice for writing, even if it's a letter we haven't had yet. Okay, if you want to write. And it would kind of be fun if you start to learn how to write your name in Hebrew. That would be uh, a nice thing. So this class is every two weeks? I thought it was every week. Every two weeks. I said to Julia, they're going to um, start another class in January. I said, if you start another beginner class, I really recommend that you do it every week. Can we vote to have it every week? I mean, the people who are here? <laughs> I think <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, have it, they have it set up already. Oh. Uh, because there's another there's another beginner class so they have it set oh. up every two weeks the way they set everything up and they sent everything out oh. but, um so here's something i don't know if once you know the alphabet if they can continue the class you know like up to like advanced beginner or whatever i would love that but um i don't know what their intentions are but i did say if they start any new classes in january they should make them every week you know an hour a week is not a lot and yet it's much better for uh, your brain that uh, frequency is, is always better in learning a language. You know, they always say like, how come a um, seven-year-old kid could learn uh, Greek so fast? Well, he's surrounded by it all the time, day and night, 24 seven, you know, you're trying to learn a language. And if you don't get exposure to hearing it and saying it, it's going to take you a long time. Mm -hmm. So well, we're not doing Hebrew uh, speaking. Now we're doing Hebrew reading. And uh, the ketiva, the writing, if you want to, you can practice, which would be kind of fun. Um, and I'll send you some of those pages. Uh, so, Carol, um, I'm going to, I know I'll be missing the next um, class in two weeks. I'll be on the road. Um, are, are you going to, you'll be sending out the recording of that class at some point? Only, after yeah, class. she's recording okay. everything. Julia right. said that it will be recorded. So I think okay. that's really great. And um, I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying the class. You guys are so great. You really are. Oh, uh, no, we're enjoying it too. Yes. So it's you. nice that there are people from all over. I, that's what I was. I love them. it. I love that's it. What I was I telling my sisterhood because they were talking about starting uh, Hebrew classes. And and, and uh, Bob and I are both on the board and we both decided to try this and we love it. And we love the fact, we mentioned this, the fact that it's not, um, and, and it's people that we may not know. And I think that that's, <laughs> Makes yeah, it more yeah it's lovely. It's, it's really... also less intimidating to, to not to mispronounce something in front of somebody who's been teaching Hebrew for 10 years in our sisterhood. So it's a different situation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you'll be so good. You'll be into the intermediate level. Now, just out of curiosity, have any of you had a bat mitzvah? I did a group bat mitzvah, but. So how did that work out, Charlene? What did you do for your bat mitzvah? Um, it was a group and um, I memorized my Torah portion. Wow. Oh. Uh, were you intimidated when you were called up to the Torah and you opened it up or did you practice with the scroll? Oh, we practiced with the scroll. So I read Torah fairly frequently at the synagogue and you know what a tikkun is. A tikkun is um, a book that has the way it looks in a prayer book with the vowels right. and, and uh, it has the trope uh, marks on it and side by side you have exactly the way it looks in the Torah. The only thing is when you study from the tikkun that's not exactly the way it looks on the Torah that you open because different Torahs with different calligraphy different it'll be in a different spot. So if you practice with your tikkun and your reading begins at the top of the column and so now they call you up Yamod, and you come up there and you open up and you're all ready and you know your thing and then you panic because you can't find your reading and you can't read fast enough and don't know the rest of the stuff. So you kind of like skim down. And sometimes I have to ask the rabbi, could you show me where the last person left off? And um, so what the rabbi said to me is that you could come in during the week and he said, you can take your um, phone and you can open up the Torah that we're using and you can actually take a picture of it. And I did it once or twice. You know what? It was really easy because I knew exactly when I opened up the door and I was reading, I knew exactly where my eye went, where I found my reading, and it really was helpful. 
All right, so the vowels, very important, the vowels. And next time um, we'll, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll learn the shin. So we have the shin and the sin, all kinds of good stuff. Okay. And um, we'll continue, but we'll make sure that you get the lessons and, uh, and have a great week. Stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you too. You too. Thank Bye, you. everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So what Bye. you have to say is, no, not not goodbye. You have to say lehitra out. Lehitra out. It means till uh, until we see each other again. It's like Alvida Zayn. Okay. okay. Only in this yeah. class we don't we don't use German. We say lehitra out. Lehitra out. Okay. Lehitra so ladies, have a have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll see you in two. And just go over everything, you know. And if anyone in your family knows Hebrew, say okay. I want to show up. Let me read a little bit from my lesson. And um, let I'll, ask the seven, I'll ask the seven-year-old, you know, who said, you don't know any Hebrew, Bobby? <laughs>